I'm down in, 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 in a subway doing that flip card game. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, if you want the best sucking cock of your life. Dude, do the voice. Do the voice. If you want the best. What's kind of funny about Euphoria, too, that I was thinking about? Oh, God. Is that each of those characters or those actors are like 20 to 30 years old, and they're playing 15-year-olds. So then, like, by... They by like association, they have to age up everybody else like dramatically in the show. So like forty year olds look like seventy, L- like literally. <laughs> and there's a dad who fucks guys on the side. He has like a family, and he's the dad of like the hot main bad boy of the school. Mm. But the dad is like a silver fox, where he's like, yeah, he's like, uh, you know, bit of a Roger Stone. Oh, I, you know, back when I was younger. But he just looks like a late thirties, and they just put like. They just dyed his hair white or gray or whatever. It's like, it, I don't believe at all that. And then, like, there's the mom who's, like, so clearly in her, like, late 50s, early 60s. And he's just like, all right, sweetheart, I have to go to work. And you're like, are you are you the son? <laughs> just because you have gray hair, you still look so fucking young. Yeah, but hmm. the show's awesome. I love being fucking hard the entire time while watching a show. Why is, it so, success. why is it so popular? I mean, it's just drama, you know? It's like a... It's drama for adults. It's drama for adults to be like, how scandalous. And I think... Uh, I don't really know what... I don't know what the appeal is to having them be young. I think it might just be like... Maybe it's more believable that the, that they're stupid or that they... Mm-hmm. You know, or something. I don't know. If you see an adult group of friends and they're go- like I don't think it's as entertaining watching people go to their job versus the only other priorities they have is going to school and then they go to a roller rink I think there's like some uh, what's the word people wanting to put themselves in the it's like that you when you get to that age I feel like a lot of people look back and they're like man I wish I was back in fucking high school like I would have done things so different I'd fuck all these chicks or blah 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 probably whereas mm-hmm. when you were in high school or when they were in high school it's like most probably you're a fucking goober mm-hmm. it's like a so it's almost like this voyeurism know, of like oh man it's also like a so such a romanticized well yeah stupid thing like people are like oh I'd go back and do this or that and it's like even now, like I, when I was on the TMG podcast, Noel Miller was like, oh, people dress like that in Euphoria. But I'm like, even if that's the case, there's no way people are talking to each other like that. I've been to high school parties. I've done all that kind of shit. It's not like ragers. Two it's, weeks? it's not like Project Yes. <laughs> and even now. Uh, even like Project X days, when that was like when we were in high school or like in <laughs> junior high or whatever. And that's like, oh. We're throwing a part Project X party or whatever. Whoa. And it's just a bunch of fucking like male like or just like boys being retards, not talking to anybody. A girl sh- like two girls show up and all the guys are like, Ugh, and then they leave. <laughs> like it was like it, 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 it's a completely romanticized thing. I will say the only thing that I like about the show though is they have uh, I don't know the the uh, the lighting like it's shot very well. Mm-hmm. But then also they do like interesting lighting, like uh, the uh, the use of like extreme, uh, like bright, viv- like vivid colors. Like down the street, they'll have a huge blue floodlight kind of going. Just mm-hmm. like Riverdale. I have never seen that. Is that what they do? <laughs> yeah, I've also not seen that. It's, it I, I catch terrible. I catch I catch glimpses of it because my fucking wife has it on sometimes, mm. and it's the most like I feel like it's actually what Euphoria. Is but uh, with a certain self awareness to it. Well, I thought that Riverdale was just it, it's euphoria, except it's just like tr- like it's garbage. Like, it, like I think it embraces it's, that. Honestly, well, I wonder if it's like if it if you think they embrace it or if they're just like and then this would happen to be crazy versus the euphoria people are like, oh, there's like a really interesting market here, but let's not like fucking have it be all like comic book cartoony like it's so retarded dude they're like we're part of the snakes it's like a motorcycle gang just like oh 
fuck off. It's from those grocery store comics, the Archie comics. Oh, is Riverdale. that what it is? All those characters. Yeah, but it's weird because it's not like the comics from at the store were like that at all. They were like lighthearted and like yeah, lame. Archie's like, yeah. I got a flat tire. Yeah. yeah, oh no. They're like one here, step Jules. away at all times from like hunting vampires. That's how I feel nice. like the tone of that's that show fun. is. That's kind yeah. of fun. That's not actually, like there's no vampires. But, no, like, I know, but yeah. that, that's still fun. It feels like it could fall into at that. Any in moment, instant. if you think yeah. a vampire is going to show up, that's kind of fun. Do they still publish Archie comics or are they all edgy now? Is it like Riverdale oh, comics? Versus Euphoria oh, okay. is just, it's too much, like, it's way too much sex. Like, I think it, it's like, I, like, it feels like every scene. And if there's not every scene there's sex, then somebody is uh, doing some kind of hard drug or so, something crazy like that. Or they're having some kind of uh, mental uh, narration about how hard their situation is. And that's what you like, were saying. The nothing. whole thing is just like everyone's an old soul. Well, we, we, nothing nothing yeah. matters. Everything's hope. It's if well, you that have sounds that, accurate, mm-hmm. honestly, to teenagers. Mm-hmm. I To a degree, but I think teenagers don't understand why. Oh, they've got too much Whatever insight. I, like, you know, you have that stuff of just being like, you know, stuff's kind of starting to suck or something like that, but I think you're just so dumb. You don't fucking know. And the thing too is people are like, because I've seen some people be like, it's so funny seeing these people in comments act like people don't actually go through stuff. And I'm like, I think that people could totally have incredibly hard lives at the time they're 15. Mm-hmm. But for them to all be centered into one school, mm-hmm. it's like maybe if we lived in a time when it's like, are you emotionally baggaged? And, you know, is your family rich? And you, ha- you know, this or that. It's like, come on down to Euphoria High. Or whatever. And it's like, we're all here. It's, it's like, like a, a collection. school for, for like very self aware I'd be resource. very happy if I was, go- if, if that school existed. And I could still go to like Carney. I'd just choose Carney again. <laughs> why the fuck? Why the fuck would I want to go to that hellhole? Don't you want all those big booby girls throwing themselves at you? We were talking hey, about this before kind of, the you podcast think it's kind of too. Weird that everybody looks like they're thirty three. Walking around the street. But school. they all want to fuck you. No, because I don't look thirty three. I would. I would look my age. If anything, I would look you like look three 15. years younger than what <laughs> I look. When I was 15, I looked 12 because I didn't have, I barely hit fucking puberty. We were, we were no talking, hair. We were talking about this before, but it's very fucking odd that these people are portraying teenagers and you're seeing their genitalia and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking, it's very odd. I feel like it's just like an, ex, it's a more surreptitious, smart form of cuties by Netflix. I feel like mm. it's just slow, like, oh, moving yeah. of the I totally, line. I already yeah. forgot about cuties. About what the fuck, like, yeah. How people approach Peter Filler and shit. I feel like they're just slowly. Definitely, moving. cuties is. Well, that was going too far, too hard. You no, know, it, it, it is. But well, I, I think that uh, but I see what you're saying. But I think that like after a while, I wonder if it'll become artistic expression. If you the, have like 15 year old actors doing that kind of stuff, dude, they're trying to boil the underage frog. Well, there's that other show flying under the radar now because everyone's talking about Euphoria, but I just can't see ads for it. Sometimes it's called like Sex Appeal. Yeah, it, that new the whole one thing like just seems Hulu to be about the same shit. I think it's on, but Netflix. but those those <laughs> actors really look like teenagers, yeah. like not like thirty year old you know porn stars and shit. And here's the thing, though, mm-hmm. it works very well whenever they're children or like supposed to be young because you're mar because you can get the most beautiful looking porcelain thirty two year old man mm-hmm. who kind of can pass off maybe. Mm-hmm. As a 19 or 20 year old, sure. But then you just throw him in as a 16 year old. And you're like, fine. He's young enough. You know, you know, the Timothy Chalamet kind of like little yeah. gaunt boys. Those <laughs> you could totally fit into high school. I was watching basic. Inst- I, went, I was, I've been on a huge Paul Verhoeven kick. You guys like Paul, Paul I don't Verhoeven? Know that is. He did like Total Recall. He oh, did like okay, Starship Troopers, Robocop. Oh, mm-hmm. all right. It's yeah, he's chops. awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was watching. A, I watched two Paul Verhoeven movies last night, and one of them was Basic Instinct, which is just like, uh, like an erotic thriller. Mm. And it was, it, I think, two days ago. I was. I've been watching Euphoria because I'm trying to make a cartoon about it. So watching Basic Instinct is like, it's so funny the parallels of like very everybody is just so fucking hot, and now in Basic Instinct, your fucking lead sex appeal is Michael Douglas. And Sharon Stone. It's like it, it, it felt so real. I was I was watching it and I was like, "You're getting super hard." Oh my, this I was is like, so oh, honest." Oh my god! Exactly. You're like, "What the fuck?" Because Sharon Stone's like Sharon Stone is like old Hollywood beautiful, like uh-huh. a, like a, a woman, like a beautiful woman. Yeah. But like tits are kind of far apart and like all that. Like it, it's like you can like, and it's also like even Allison was like her ass is kind of flat, and I was like, "Okay, like fucking 1992 or whatever." But I'm like, it felt so real. And like mm-hmm. I felt like I was so invested into the movie, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" 
And then I watched, yeah, Euphoria, and I was like, I just can't. I, I, it, none of this is real to me. The, I, the immersion is immediately broken. And also having a 15 year old, that was like, that's been the biggest complaint so far though, is just having like 15 year olds try to, try to portray that they know more than like adults who are trying to help them or, mm -hmm. and, and the narrative is skewing it as always that the adults are dumb. And the kids are always right, and they're like so well, well rounded. It sounds like they're like trying to aim it at a teenage audience, but still somehow only thirty year olds love well, it. Well, that's what I hear is that the audience for it is thirty year old women. Mm -hmm. I think, oh no, fucking shit! I think what it is is they the haven't whole, had a pacifier uh, since Twilight ended. So. Well, yeah, well, yeah. That's that's no, no, there's, the, there's this endemic um, just anxiety and depression. That, like basically every woman has anxiety. Because they've now. settled on every business major from a state university school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't and blame like, this on the men. No, it's, and because, of, it's, like, it's because of Facebook. It's because of social media and all that stuff. They can't handle yeah. seeing other pictures of hot. So, so, so you end up super anxious, but you also end up feeling like you're a philosopher because you've been reading those like you know, little, the little image blurbs. with like yeah, yeah text exactly. across it for 15 years. You Nobody know? knows my struggle uh, mm -hmm. except you know blah blah blah. Or something. I'm 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 having a hard time following. Huh? There's I'm there's Facebook there's is. endemic anxiety among women now, and they think it's because of social media, because you know that your your like well being and your upbringing and development is all tied up in how many likes is this photo I'm getting? Why is that posted? not happen to men? I think, I think it, we don't know the answer. I think it, I think it maybe has. Just I mean, you know, it has it has to, to a lesser extent, but it has well, I'll to. tell you one thing. I just saw uh, some study or some shit, and uh, like the amount of under thirties having sex is like or not having sex sorry has risen to, yeah it's weird something crazy like 30 percent, right mm -hmm. um but what's funny is for women it's not changed much and for men it's changed a whole lot like men are not having sex specifically like young men um which is really funny because historically when that happens shit starts going sideways <laughs> pretty quick <laughs> when, when the men stop being able to have sex with women societies fall civilizations crumble i think that uh yeah, I mean, like, through all the social media bullshit, I think that, you know, I don't know. It's like a almost a rite of passage now of, mm -hmm. like, the, the whole, like, uh, you know, uh, hanging with the boys kind of thing. Also, like, uh, the incel kind of movement and all that other shit. It seems like, uh, also, it's just, uh, it's, it's like, it's totally frowned upon for, like, a frat guy or, like, to be the... Why Dude. can't we just fucking like slip a few pills and women's yeah, like, what's, what's the hell's going on? Let's play football. <laughs> <laughs> like I think that it's like more like I'd rather just be a cute streamer. I think mm -hmm. uh well also like it's we we're just gonna get into a super deep territory where we clearly not qualified to say such brazen things. I, I'm, but I'm gonna I, do I, it I anyway. I'm percent qualified. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a I think uh manager. obviously like porn is super accessible, so that's I'm one really avenue. Right. Uh but another is like I think women have the ability maybe to just like try and go for the hottest dudes or like the best dudes and they're not so interested in like the average dudes. Back mm. when, you know, you could like club a girl over the head and like take her as your bride. I think that's still social media too. You well, can, it is, yeah. You can track your stats, you know? You I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, fuck this fucking Larry with three likes. Yeah, I'm I gotta gonna go for Chris. Chad. Yeah. Chad was so obviously the option. Well, no, it's too too <laughs> generic, you know. Chris. But, yeah. Chris is a real hot commodity. Yeah. Do you think that having social media numbers to that degree though, do you think that's a do you think that's a deterrent to some? To women? Yeah. No. I think, you don't that, think that I think without social media it's much easier as a guy to pretend that you're cool and <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a doctor <laughs> pick her up and it's like a fucking old like Honda like a 93 <laughs> Honda Civic or something like that. people don't even exchange phone numbers anymore it's like oh what's your Instagram and then yeah you, you know well the whole the, the whole uh, even just like Tinder I remember being like uh, on Tinder before dating Allison in like college like having mm -hmm. those Tinder days in college and it was more like, oh, you would, it, it would, it was still more like you would meet people on Tinder instead of mm -hmm. meeting people in real life. And then you would be like, oh yeah. And then you would like get their phone number. But now from what I've heard on Tinder, it's like, there's not, it's not even dating. It's just like a fuck site. So it's like, there's no, it, it, there, there's no like exchange of numbers or anything. It's just, you're talking on all these different apps and stuff. It's just, it's kind of mm -hmm. interesting. But again, like to the point of maybe that technology and shit, making women just like aim for the heights. Mm. You gotta imagine, like, they're coming in like resumes into their inboxes, like fucking mm -hmm. 50 a day, yeah. probably more. As many as, like, 
You have to be an extremely ugly, disgusting woman to get zero fucking, <laughs> like, Tinder hits in your inbox. You have to be a... V- <laughs> you d- you do. Board. You have to be fucking disgusting as a woman to not get any Tinder. Well, there's things. any women listening to this right yeah, now. Yeah, they are, and, they are and- all listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yeah. <laughs> but when you got when you got the resumes flying in, not, you've got not, the pick. Not faced with that. Not faced with that realization yet. Just <laughs> just sitting on sitting on a bus or a train with like their headphones in, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas dude just in, in the like, middle of passively typing a message to a guy because you you know even a, even like an average looking dude is gonna get like one a week maybe. Maybe. So I don't, of think, I don't think that's true. I think hundred percent. I don't think that's true. I'm a fucking my edit- nine my, out my, 10, my right? editor sh- sh- shows me all the yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a. And package. if I went on Tinder, I think that'd be like five a week. Maybe. Well, there, there's I, I, there's some, there's some. Uh, is it Tinder that has the voice record thing and you can play the message back? I think it's uh, uh, either Bumble or Hinge. One of. Bumble or Hinge, mm-hmm. one of those. It's fucking hilarious. I really, that's like a, such a funny, except the thing is, is like only the girl can reach out to you. Okay. A Bumble. So that, okay, so I think that that's Bumble then. But yeah, it's like, uh, it's it's literally resumes and then you have questions and it's like guys will Hello? answer it. <laughs> but there, there's funny stuff to both sides of like seeing people who are actually funny and like have funny answers. And then there's like the cringe side of people being like, you know, that's my ideal first date. Let me tell you or whatever. And like being <laughs> real about it. So that must be a fucking trip. I wish that you could scroll through those yourself, but yeah. You, you could just scroll through dudes' profiles and see how. Yeah, it'd be fucking hilarious. That'd be so funny. <laughs> you could set up a like lady account, just a fake one. Or just a, a gay one. Or a gay one. There you go. No, no. La- lady account for sure. Don't lie, man. Yeah. A gay one? The gay one would be gonna. That's going to be oh, then You're just yeah. reading gay guys yeah, stuff, which would be not as funny. Yeah. Be different and, and icky. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very beautiful. Dude, I saw the pristine fucking fantasy land gay men live in. Like, when I was at university, I had a mate who was gay. Oh, and that, he, what's the other guy? He, mm. Oh, yeah, you met him. Yeah, he wanted to fuck me. Of I course. Think. Mm-hmm. Who, who doesn't? But mm-hmm. he uh, mm-hmm. he just, just got on his phone, went on, I don't know, grind or whatever, was, found a guy within like five seconds, and then like tricked him to come into the university just to reject him. I was like, there's just no fucking way. In any scenario that, that I'd be able to do that in that amount of ease with chicks, you that's know? That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that, I mean, that's the perk, you know? That, mm. literally, if I could stomach it, it would be so much better to be gay. It'd be so much better. Just hang out with your bro, give each other fucking head, play some games. It's so much more openly sexual, too. Yeah. Yeah, it just it sounds like a fucking dreamland. That's like it, it's it's a it's a weird thing, too, about, like, uh, being straight and stuff is you're just so picky. I listening to every single different person has like such like a distinction of like oh why is she her her knees look weird or like who are you, uh, who, what men are you hanging around who are like that tons of dudes. well I guess not a lot anymore but I just the like oh. from back in the day I guess <laughs> like uh, that was sad yeah I don't, just like weird shit which is fine but I just mean mm. it's just kind of interesting mm-hmm. versus I, I I I mean I don't know. The, the, it's, I mean, it's like a status thing, probably. Like, oh, you, you're fucking a girl with weird, knees. with weird knees. What if, yeah. we, what if we go out double dating with people? <laughs> and people see your knees, they're gonna say those are damn good knees. Yeah, but if you're just a, if you're just a, if you're just a dude, <laughs> fucking dude. <laughs> yeah, clacking it's, together. It's more just like rolling through them, you know. Like, I, know, I think like, a part of it is probably a defense mechanism too. It's what? like, well, I could get her, but she's got fucking funky knees. So. Yeah, definitely. Right. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm, yeah, instead of shooting her shot. Yeah. Well, she's. Pretty cool. <laughs> but, I don't know. I had a friend who swore he would not have sex with Megan Fox because she had toe thumbs. And we were all like, you are the dumbest person on the planet. No, that dude, was, I just wouldn't. I think that was just a meme. I think I've heard that before. Yeah. Uh, well, regard, I've had friends that are like that, though. Mm, yeah, where it's like yeah. a, a very obvious, like, attractive person. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what, you see, so really, if they were like, hey, let's have sex, you wouldn't do it. Especially from, like, a guy standpoint. Mm-hmm. It's uh, and they're like, no, dude. Uh, you can definitely tell it's because if the girl, I think they imagine the girl. They're gonna, they're fucking being punked somehow. Some <laughs> friends are in, in Missouri, have Megan Fox in another room. So wait, what? You really wouldn't have sex with her? No, dude. No, because if he's like, yeah, I would. And she came in. She's like, well, I'm not gonna have sex with you. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, he's like, he's like, no, dude, I'm not gonna have sex with her. And he's like. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look around. looking around. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't... Goes to her Instagram and starts liking like every picture of hers. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> DMing her death. <laughs> DMing her death. Right? I got a noose with your name on it, bitch. Please love me. <laughs> just kidding, baby. I'm just playing jokes. Yeah, no, no. My group of friends in secondary school or whatever, I didn't experience that where they'd be like, ew, she has weird knees or like, like yeah, I don't know. <laughs> in general, my experience with men is that... Her. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bridget's kind of hot, isn't she? Yeah, she's real. Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> The only reason I said is Bridget Jones' diary, which she, she's she's in London. Now. That's she, dude. She would do great on Tinder, and she's got like <laughs> her face is swollen. She looks like she's been punched like seventeen Midnight times. You wake up from the movies. Literally, like opens her app, two hundred notifications. Oh my god, there's so many men who are trying to give me new bridges. <laughs> That's a very good impression. If you were taking Bridget Jones on a date, how would that conversation go? She looks like she smells like brie cheese. Is so. that what you say to her? But maybe I'm nagging her. I'm like, oh, I, Ugh, I, Bridget. I, I, sorry, I thought I, I thought I washed up before I came in the washroom. Well, fucking try again, Bridget, because you missed some spots. I could show you for your shape in the bathroom if you think that I could. <laughs> Say again, Bridget. <laughs> I said I think that I could find some soap in the washroom if it needed. Yeah, I, I think could. you should go find the soap, Bridget. You okay. fucking reek. I feel back. She's gone for forty-five minutes. She comes back. <laughs> how, how do I smell now? It smelled like a lump of ham. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did. Just the dishes come back for forty-five minutes. So you're just sitting there. <laughs> Where were you, Bridget, for 45 minutes? I was taking a shower. <laughs> I was taking a shower in the loo. In the, in the loo. In the loo. Uh, that's how that works. Yeah. I got under your full shit with the hand soap and you started scrubbing. Scrubbing me bits. Scrubbing, scrubbing me bits. <laughs> scrubbing <laughs> me bits. <laughs> Maybe crevish nook and then. She looks like she's got like pussy rolls. I got like either rolls. side, either <laughs> side. Freshly baked. They call me Pillsbury. <laughs> Pillsbury Jones. I Pillsbury, like Bridget Jones. Mm. I got a diary. And what was the movie about? You've never seen Bridget Jones' no. diaries? I looked at the, it's been a I looked long at the cover, though. It looks like a weird love triangle with three unattractive people. Well, it's, well one of you them... You mean Heartthrob Hugh Grant? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Heart... <laughs> He's fucking... Uh, he's in, in, the, he's, in Britain, he's a ten. As I say, he's, got the, he's, got the, he's got that British. That's life. very. But funny. I think he's also an American ten because of that. They, oh yeah, a British. A at British least early two thousands is a ten in America. When he oh, dies, okay. they gotta they gotta dip his skull in acid. I want to see what his skull looks like. It's just very fucking weird. It what like, if there's not the illusion? You, yeah, you bring it back. You melt all the, you melt all the shit out, off. You, know? you bring it back out, and his like the back of his cranium. He looks like a xenomorph. He looks like a fucking xenomorph. Every movie he. You only shoot him from the front so you can never see it. Because <laughs> it's fucking, yeah. <laughs> That's a British tin if I've ever seen one. <laughs> um, I will not sit through this casual racism <laughs> about the craniums of my people. Are you going to start doing phrenology next? Yeah, what, what was the movie he was in where he has, he ends up like having to take care of a kid or something? You know what I'm talking uh, about? I think, it's about? I think it's about a boy. Ma Maybe something like that. It's about no, a boy, big, I think. Big Daddy. Yeah, big, big Daddy. Daddy. I saw, I saw, I saw it on TV and done. I was like... It's big Daddy. Big Daddy is Adam Sandler. It's Don't listen to him. He's wrong. It's okay. Hugh Crumb. <laughs> <laughs> about a boy is what you're talking about. Mischief! Yeah, it was on TV and I was like, this movie is fine. It's okay. I, it was I like, like on the. It was, it's fine. It was, well, it was like on the edge of, you know... Because the because the is actors he gonna fuck this kid or no, not? because because <laughs> the what actors were so plain looking that yeah, and they were oh, British that I, that I couldn't tell if it was like a, a, a theater is movie this a, or is like this a, a comedy. Is this like they, British are they, life are, are they in New Jersey or where? That are they? is one thing I'll say is like British TV is way less afraid of showing normal people. That's what I mean. I couldn't tell if it was like that's a made for TV what, British so movie or satire. Yeah, yeah. They couldn't afford <laughs> handsome so people, ugly? you know, to be couldn't afford handsome people. Literally, this is my. And then I looked These it up. Oh, this, I guess, uh, apparently, this guy's a huge actor, Hugh Grant. But yeah, yeah. I always thought Jude Law was a handsome British man. He's British. Well, he right? is, dude. We we explore a lot of handsome British men. Let's not fucking let the Who memes else? become reality. Who else? Come all here. of the heartthrobs, Loki, whatever his name is. He, I, I I think he's very. Well, all of the women would disagree with you. 
Henry Cavill. Oh, oh well, yeah, that's a big one. I love, I love the. Oh, also Idris Elba. I think Idris Elba is a, a heartthrob as well. <laughs> Although I, I do prefer. <laughs> Tom's just like <laughs> just backing into space like a neutron star like just imploding. Get out falling down. <laughs> I will yes, say every sure. time, yes, okay. Every time Next. I, <laughs> who else? Who who else? Who else? Tom Hardy. <laughs> Would you consider him attractive? Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Th th this no, dichotomy I'm, is so I'm, odd. I'm there for that one. And do you know what? It's not odd. It's, uh... It's, it's I think it's, 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 I'm, I'm saying that he I, he's an, obviously an attractive person. I'm just if, saying if it's I, just funny. All I of was the women gay. love all these men, and the only one you think is like super handsome is obviously Henry Cavill because it's like a. And I, I'm sorry to say this, it's like a power fantasy. We all wish we had like Chad, Henry Cavill. Features. Well, obviously, I'm not thinking about. Well, I don't have the perspective of fucking these people. I did say Idris Elba was also a, uh, an attractive man. Kind, as of, well. kind of similar. You think? Thing to he's not, he's not a little huge. Bit. Yeah, he's very like. <laughs> you don't like Loki because he's kind of a bit of a femboy. Yeah, no, I know you're saying. The, the two, two very powerful looking men. Yeah. yeah. So, but but so then what's. Dumb, they're, they're, so, hard. <laughs> they're so dominant. It's gone fit in to get blacked. Hey, hey, Ardrus. No, if I was gay, I think. Uh, Tom Arnie would be top of the list, close to the top. I of would list. too. Would you? I feel like you Tom would be. Hardy. I feel like I could. Yeah, dude. In, in, in that, that UFC weird, movie? Except for his fucking teeth. God except that I never saw, I just saw the ad. Which what Have you noticed that? Tom Hardy's got one front tooth? Well, yeah, yeah. That came out the same time as that fucking uh, Christian Bale one. What do you mean? I don't mean that he's it's got like, a missing. Yeah, it's, it's kind just of like it's the only of, prominent It's ahead one. of the other one. I'm kind of yeah. getting that too as I get more yeah. old and British, but Tom Hardy literally has like one front tooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pushed out so far, <clears throat> but he's still handsome. Yeah. So yeah, uh, like I said, don't get it twisted. We have a lot of exports who are quite handsome we have a lot of beautiful women exports who are also quite delectable and i won't take this slander <laughs> <laughs> you're breathing there well when you use words with more than two syllables hunter sometimes you have to take an extra breath <gasps> fucking redneck piece of shit why do you think i'm so efficient <laughs> I super, struggle to breathe as it is. <laughs> my body, there's so much I've weight already on my body. One words only. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. You might pass out. I'm like soliloquy. You're like. <laughs> no, I just do it. I just do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and also assume that the pirate. Meme went over extremely well. Not been released yet, but no, no it, will, well, it will. Oh, have. okay, gotcha, gotcha. It will have. <laughs> oh, by the time this is heard, mm -hmm. so I think that the pirate thing. Uh, just saying, uh, expect a uh, expect a great comment section. I'm looking forward to it. God, if not, then I am out of the podcast. I will walk <laughs> the plank. Uh, the plank. I thought so. Mm. Yes. I tell you what I've been watching recently, which is a blast, and I got Don hooked on it too. <clears throat> Formula One Drive to Survive, which may sound really boring and gay. I too think Formula One is boring and gay, but Drive to Survive is pretty damn fun. It's actually very good. Is yeah. it with the same dudes who do Top Gear? No. 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 Um, that's unfortunate. I love those three. <laughs> <laughs> he, I, I, unironically, he was, I love he was almost in, but yeah, no. Uh, no dice. Yeah. His rates were too high. Mm. Were they? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the, you're the, you're the author of this journey. I'm just asking questions. No, it's about, do you know what Formula One is? Like in yeah, general. racing. Yeah. So it's racing, but it's about like the teams. It's, it's like a documentary kind of. It's like a mm -hmm. drama. Yeah, because it's like, well, drama. Trevor kind of told me a little bit about it where it's like, uh, obviously different countries have different set of teams that use like different kinds of like, uh, I don't know, bodies of cars or like they, they, like, different so, different engines and all that kind of stuff, shit yeah and then it's yeah. like you know well to start with like it's a uh, so as a sport mm -hmm. from what i've seen before drive survive it's fucking boring as hell and i I've, thought it looked kind of cool it's fast cars going around fun tracks compared to like a nascar thing where you're just going to circle well, yeah, the I formula mean, thing it's, yeah, it's a bit that's more not even in the that's like talking about how like i don't know some professional sport is more interesting than rounders you probably don't know what rounders is it's like Softball is probably, do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't even come into the conversation. <laughs> we don't. We're Americans. NASCAR is great. NASCAR, I, if you've never been, it's a fun time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it is. But Formula One, it's like, you know, two hours long of just cars looping around the doing 
The race is two hours? Yeah. God damn. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, In the they show, make it, they make it sound like, it seem like it's like awesome. 15 minutes long. Yeah. No. Most, wow. most, it's like long. And also, like, most of the victory is decided by who puts the most money in at mm-hmm. the start. Because it's like the budgets for these fucking cars are like, and I'm speaking from ignorance, but just who F1 fans or whatever. Oh, I looked it up. Like 600 million a year, right? Like each, well, each, the, each car is worth like 15 million. Like just that car to replace is $15 million. Yeah. The engine itself is worth like 10 million. So, but if you have like a, not just the car, but like the budget for the whole year or whatever, mm-hmm. if you have a company pouring in like 600 million a year and then another company can't afford that and they're doing like 200 million, mm-hmm. like already that's basically decided a big chunk of. So there's like reasons it could be boring, but man, this show really brings out the drama and the highlights and the fun. Well, they kind of sell it to you because you look at it more like there's micro races. So yeah, you're never going to be in first, second, and third, but you could be in like seventh or eighth, you know, and that's right. like a huge victory for those like little shit. dinky companies, you know? Okay, so. you're bored, Hunter. I get it. Mm-hmm. No, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just I was just waiting for the what's the interesting about it it's, oh, it's I mean, interesting it's because yeah it's it's like the politics of retaining the drivers and I, the episode I just watched there's like this stinky Frenchman that steals away a driver from another team you know and they oh, it's, yeah. it's funny because they try to prop him up as like an empathetic like oh I have I have to win or I'll be fired mm-hmm. but uh <laughs> <laughs> but but then yeah, it's like you're he just, just immediately Bob. I you're gross. Like, okay, you're cool. gross and hairy and French, and the English guy's more handsome. So I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I'll have to check what, what streaming things on Netflix. It's really fucking fun. I've I've, I've read like because whenever I watch something, I like to like try and dive dive in deep and see what's the like community or whatever saying about it. And apparently, it's like horribly like miss it's it's false lots of falsehoods they like construct narratives that weren't oh, even really? real yeah. they do mm. the races out of order like oh. it is pure oh that's a shame that's fucking yeah lame. that sucks well you didn't know that until i told you it's still good well yeah but that like breaks the illusion of it well the whole reason mean. that netflix made this is to try and get americans interested into the sport so mm. it's like 70 crashes a minute like <laughs> cars like <laughs> Past well, the camera, well, yeah, like, they, shaking. the show does make it seem like every single race something insane happens. They like, like a car they, just they, explodes. Dub, they dub over like V10 engines over like the cars, so <laughs> they bounce all the- <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like real, <laughs> <laughs> it's like real American bait. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I uh, that's why I like I, I like shitty reality TV like that too. That's just fake. Mm. Like I like it's gold. Not I like gold rush. Fake. Well, it like the crashes fake. are real, you know. Well, I do, fine, but the, they, they do it out of order. There was a scene where um, the, one of the big teams is the Red Bull team. Mm. There you go, Hunter. Oh, I love. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, every every uh, team has two racers, so a big part of the story is like the two rival racers on the Red Bull team. But there's the one episode where he crashes into the other guy because he's trying to pass him. Oh, they yeah. And then they the- and then they never talk about it again. That's like such a hey! like, well, well, no, you 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 two assholes just ruined like twenty million dollars of car, and yeah. they never touch on it again. Like, hey, don't fucking rear end your Wait, teammate. Wait, so if you're on the if you're on the Red Bull team, your opponent is the other dude on the. Well, Red no, Bull no, no. Team? They're they're supposed to be on a team because if you win, oh, it's like Red Bull wins. But they're like, well, if he's a better driver than me. I'm gonna get fired, and they're gonna replace me. So there's like this weird like inbuilt. Rivalry, so of, like French dudes and Italians, and stuff, be like, "Shut up, brah." It is like that, though. They are because yeah. you know, mm-hmm. if uh, and it's funny. There is at like the top of the grid or whatever. Usually, have you heard of Lewis Hamilton? No, he's like British driver. He's always first place, but he's got. This, oh yeah, oh, I have. Yeah, he's got this. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm listening. It wasn't that interesting of an right. anecdote any day. Any I, was, day anyway. I, I just wanted to feel like I was a part of it. Yeah. I'll tell you what it does do, like watching that, is it makes me understand my wife more, which is interesting to me. Because, Bottas. yeah, Bottas is and he, fucking Raikkonen. That Who, Finland what? exports an extraordinary amount of Formula One drivers. Yeah. Bear in mind, Finland is a, is a country of 8 million people and they are way overrepresented in Formula One. Uh, just because they like rally drive as a culture. But like listening to them answer interview questions gives me so much insight on why my wife is the way she is. They'll be like, so uh, Mr. Raikkonen, what do you think about this rule that really negatively affects drivers or whatever? And he's like, I do not make the rules, so why does it matter? <laughs> okay. Yeah, literally, he's like, well, thank you. The, the reporter's like, well, thank you for the insight. Kimmy just stares at them <laughs> with this fucking cold green eyes. Fuck you. 
Yeah, and all of the Finnish no, drivers are like no, that. No, fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> if that's what the show was saying. <laughs> They're literally all just like, as a people, autistic. It's like built in. Okay. So, hmm. it's interesting. Hmm. It's very nice. I like that. There is a there is a scene, you haven't seen it yet, in coming up episodes where like two drivers do fuck each other up and they do get like in trouble for it. <laughs> it's like they really smash into each other. Hmm. Well, as in, like, the the, lead, the head of the team, like, brings them into his office and, like, rips them a new one. Mm. Pretty funny. Because yeah, they do it's, all it's, have it's, funny it, accents. It, it sounds like they're, yeah. <laughs> you fucked me! You'll do this again, I get rid of you! And you're just like, <laughs> you can't take it seriously. <laughs> you sound so stupid! There was there was a bit like, that made me think of uh, you, and because we were always doing that stupid, like, <laughs> laugh. But there's this bit where uh, two teams who... The people, the pit crew who laugh about it aren't a part of this team. So for them, it's great that two teams crashed into each other, but they like crash and you just see this big like group of, I assume, British men in the <laughs> pit crew go. <laughs> 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 I was like, <laughs> I miss home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. But yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's fun. It's a good show. I'll check it out. Yeah. Yes. See. Yeah. I'm, I'm stoked for the. Uh... Oh, wait, did you guys see the new? Uh, well, I think it aired during the Super. I'm not sure. The new Jordan Peele movie, uh, the trailer for that. The trailer for another horror movie. Yeah. What's he making? I can't tell. It's very ambiguous. I think it's an alien movie. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> do, 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 they, do the aliens wrong? do the aliens side with the white people immediately, and then they round up all the black people? And- <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like a Jordan Peele movie. Yeah. No, <laughs> Did you know that the aliens are actually like white people are actually the aliens? <laughs> We've sequenced their DNA. Has that same bass drop thing they have in every like alien movie where it's like <laughs> You just see some really blue eyes. Isn't it weird that every other people have brown eyes except these ones? Mm-hmm. And yeah, we all just unpeel. The, the, <laughs> it's it's zero hour and all the white I people just go. Called. <laughs> it's called no. Yeah! We've been enslaving you for years. I'm, I'm doing an alien white person. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jordan Peele's new movie. <laughs> that's me in the theater. Whoa. Huh? But yeah, it's we, called we, Nope. We it thought, looks cool. We thought How do you I think like we movies. invented so many things? I like this movie. Alien technology. Everyone thought the aliens would enslave us when they got here, but they were enslaving us the whole time. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> what? Does that make? Does that mean the same thing? Well, no, no, because uh, no, he's he saying that it. if the uh, if the everyone thought <laughs> when the aliens Trevor got it too. I'm not going to explain it to you. Fucking go on, th- lay in on. <laughs> you see, I'm just you, trying you, you, to you, be a part <laughs> of the conversation. <laughs> oh, anyways, yeah, that movie's coming out. And yeah, also, it looks, uh, looks good. You excited? It sounds it sounds good. What was the race angle, though? I'm sure there was a race angle in the movie. In the I mean, he always unless has, he's trying he always to break has black, free. Uh, usually black leads. Usually, yeah, yeah, yeah. There really, yeah. I don't think there was any. Dude, race that, I mean, but then again, the, the trailer was very ambiguous. I mean, there might be. I don't know. Who knows? I feel like there was an Asian woman in the trailer, like running. I feel, I, yeah, but that's that's why like uh, that's why sh- Asians invented gunpowder. It's because like back then they knew that the. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the white people, just, the just, alien just white people second, coming just... back. Yeah, I've got more theories. <laughs> you know how you know how much shit like white people invented, right? Like flying and electricity mm. and shit. Well, the Asians invented gunpowder, and I always thought that's kind of crazy. Why that? Why that singular thing? <laughs> it's because of the white people, aliens from Jordan Peele's movie. <laughs> wow! Oh, sorry, I'm done. <laughs> they Trevor said they fucked up the recipe for opium. (laughs) 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 Moral of the story is I don't know what the movie's about. I I do like how the six black people that still listen to this always sound off, and they're like, as Tom's third black fan, they have to, they have to, (laughs) they have to like let themselves. Uh, uh, jump up and stand out in a sea of fucking horrible <laughs> comments. <laughs> it's so funny and true what Tom's saying. Can I? You can know? I? Yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah. Every person. Every, 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 every person that's ever been like, I'm black, and I just want to say Tom is totally right. I'm like, that's not a black. They all look like Yolandi from fucking from that band. Uh 
but my mor- moral of the story, I don't know. Maybe an alien movie. I was excited when I saw it, just because it's a new movie. And then also... Hey, wait. A- wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, laying blame at Tom's feet, Don was the person who fucking launched into that one. <laughs> I'm just accusing Jordan Peele of always making movies about how white people are evil. Exactly. It wasn't me. That's not, ra- that's not a racist comment. It's just, you know, I mean, probably, probably, It'll probably be what it is again. And I, what was funny, too, is if you go back, like they, it's like the darker... The more the more dark the skin is, the like more absolved from being bad guys, and so like the Asians are like kind of bad always, <laughs> like real it, life. But, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of evil, uh, but, but not, not fully. Not as evil. Not evil. Not as evil as the pasty pastrami people. At least they invented gunpowder, so we can fight off. The- so we can fight <laughs> off the aliens. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, biggest, mm-hmm. heartiest chuckle I've had all year. <laughs> mm, make my tummy feel good. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I've never actually seen Get Out. Is that what <laughs> it's about? I, I haven't seen it. You would hate it. I actually haven't seen any. I've just heard other people complain you, you about it. So. I, I, I feel like I would just be so mad like watching you just watch <laughs> that movie. I would just, you would be mad at me. I would because I'd be like, just enjoy the movie. You would just You would be like so pissed off the whole time. Would I? No, one hundred percent. I don't think so. No, I one hundred percent. My favorite movie happens you to can, be cool if, so, if someone's just like, if within the first couple it's minutes of a movie, if someone film. like says like, oh, you know, I don't know. This is just a rough example. I'm trans and it's hard. You're like, okay, messaging. I can't. And you're like, get up and leave. <laughs> I had to shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying. They, it's just the same stuff over and over again. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, fair enough. Yeah. There's mm. no way. I personally don't agree with your assessment of me, but you know. I do wish he would there. he would make a com- I mean I guess he's just not interested but I wish he'd try again to make a comedy movie Jordan Peele he might he made the one with the dog but it just didn't look very funny oh you're new I think is what yeah, it's called right which is kind of isn't that it didn't it it have like the Peele, same so. plot as John Wick except the dog was named well, Keanu. I mean, I, I, that been would be an awful coincidence, wouldn't it? Was that the joke? Wouldn't it? Well, I mean, was that... If uh, they were to call it maybe. Keanu... I didn't, well, I didn't know. I can't remember dog. which came first because it was so long ago. I don't yeah, know. Probably but, John Wick. Right, right. I don't know. Hmm. It's been, yeah, for I mean, that, yeah, that, that like comedy skits and stuff are really, really great. Mm-hmm. So... I agree. I agree with Don, but I don't know. I guess he evolved. I just think, I just think also comedy movies are just like a dead genre right now. Comedy movies, definitely, yeah. That's a fair point. It's been forever. Like, I mean, like... Well, it's because you can't... <coughs> I, I don't know. Because yeah. you can't joke about anything. Because comedy's dead. Because they put a fucking <laughs> muzzle on us, bro. How you make a fucking movie <laughs> if you guys, can't tell guys, jokes? Guys can't look at the women's locker room and look at the boobies and... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I still never... Damn it. I never got to watch Porky's. And now it's up. Now it's banned. Now it's now. And now it's cares. gone. It got burned. I was gonna watch him. Everyone says I'm a I'm a fucking idiot if I do. So I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, uh, my dad. My dad had the VHS when he was a divorced yeah, I think my, dad. I think my I was like, this looks awesome. VHS. What is this? A little cover of it with the <laughs> girl's leg or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was thinking about American Pie and how they did that webcam scene with that hot Norwegian chick. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think just, you could probably do that. No. <laughs> that, that that scene has probably aged pretty poorly or pretty well i thought for that sure that would be the other side of it like a fine wine based and poorly it was, I, was huh? I thought you were going to combine based and poorly somehow i was like cringing for Bo- it poorly poorly no just i don't know how would you combine based i just and poorly? something about the way that the sentence went i just was because i had too it. much anticipation it was but really coming. it's because my brain is working at two miles per hour right mm. now so I was just like trying to f- get the words out. Uh, <coughs> what were you saying? Rack. Oh yeah, I said the deal, and then fuck sakes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, that movie looks kind of cool. And that just, yeah, I had a stroke. Well, well, I, we had um, some things to say about it. Now, uh, now they're said. You, they're they're you there. Can move on. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm happy that I was here for it. Don's POC. He's allowed to start the <laughs> conversation, and I'm his ally. And so the I'm other allowed movie to back was, him uh, up. was X. That's the other one I'm stoked for. X. Called X. Go and give it to you. What? <laughs> what? I show no love to... Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they can still play that song everywhere, yet it's like got these really homophobic lyrics in it and no one bats an eye. Where are all the people getting mad about it? <clears throat> he's he's dead. You have to respect he's him. He's dead. <laughs> That's fine. He's dead. Mm-hmm. God, would you stop? He's dead. 
Would you enough of that, please? He, he would dead. have been an ally if he was. Do alive. you know what lyrics I was gonna go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trevor did. Okay. Yeah, you've said it a thousand, a yeah, thousand a times. A lot of day. times. Mm-hmm. Not a day, but like a week. You also, at you, least you, a year. you've said that sentence. I can't believe that this or that. Why, lo- why are you coming song. for me, Hunter? I just, just, why, what, what is it? You keep giving me every, every opportunity. Too much truth to power? You keep giving me every opportunity. Is, is that it? You got to protect your fucking backers? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You got some brand deals you got to protect, buddy? Probably. Yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All those things. All of the above. <laughs> Check in the D box here. Yes. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. If anything, I'm gonna. Uh, this may actually have to be an episode where I look back and be like, I don't even want to be a part of that one. I, I as long as you're being honest about your intentions, it's cool. You know, if, you, if you got to shut me up because you got people breathing down the back of your neck, I get it. You know, I wouldn't partner with those people, but it's fine. Well, I only partner with the finest brands. Stand by me. <clears throat> Thank you, Tom. We look really cool now. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I don't. I really don't know where to go from here. (laughs) You wanted to tussle, bro. Was it? I I think I literally said that I was. I was. I was excited to see some (laughs) movies. What what is X about? You were gonna say you were gonna talk about X, and then we. Oh, that's X. No, I, I just I was just wanted to say I was excited about it. What what is the movie? No, I, I don't know anything about it. If you want to look it up, dude, you look it up. Why are you so? Who's the Who's the director? I have no idea. Oh. It's interesting. Usually, no you're quite informed. Is it X or E X? Is uh, it just called X the movie? X. Just X the movie. Okay. Oh, it's so mysterious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That is makes it, me want to know is about it. it. Is, it no? the, is it the director's tenth film? I hope. I've never heard of a person, so it'd be. Mm. If it's good, I'll have nine extra movies to watch. <laughs> <laughs> In 1979, some young filmmakers set out to make an adult film in rural Texas. Oh, who's but it by? Done. <clears throat> uh, T West, Ty West, T I West. Who's that? T I West. I have no idea. The what makes you excited good. about it? What's uh, got you hooked? It's just like a return to grind, grind house kind of uh, <laughs> style of movie. So it's like it sets you up as like, oh, this is going to be a movie where it's like, oh, we're going to film a porno, and it's just like an excuse to get girls naked. But then it has like a fun subversion of expectation. When their reclusive elderly hosts catch them in the act, the cast members find themselves in a fight for their lives. So how original! Yeah. When the when the elderly traditionalist Christian, Dad, hosts, you're you're in a roll today, Don. You're it's really going for it. Find what the, happened? Find the progressively. Minded, I think it's like because it, it, th- that makes it sound really <laughs> stupid. They uh, cast <laughs> porn stars and they, they call sound, them that, degenerates. That makes it sound like oh the like the old people you got to watch out, but it's like. It's just really fucking weird. I don't know. Interesting. Mm. Does Interesting the, do the old people say degenerate in the trailer? No. They I think that, I think the old band's like, you gotta watch out for my wife. She gets a little crazy after dark. And I was like, no, that's kind of lame. <laughs> I've heard that before. But then, yeah, it's like one of the girls is sleeping and then this naked old woman is in the bed, like caressing her face or whatever. And I was like, all right. I'm in. All right, I'm in. <laughs> you got all me. All right, you got me. And that's right up my alley. Did something happen recently, Don? This is very... You've been just... This episode firing on all cylinders, really going after Hollywood <laughs> for their just, messaging or whatever. Just had my coffee. <laughs> just had my coffee. Oh, I don't know. Just had my frappe. I don't know. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Love it. I'm angry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should be. I'm angry that that French guy stole away the... Ah, the, Formula One. The handsome guy with the messed up nose, like me. In I Formula really One. Did. Ricardo. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Yeah. Except he is he is a beak. He doesn't have a yeah nice straight I, if I nose. If I had to like pick, me. I would, I would take pick your my nose hundred percent yeah, yeah. of the but time. But he did. But when you look at him from the front, it, when you look at he's similar. you're like okay, this fucking yeah. desperado looking motherfucker. Exactly. Like, fair enough. But then he turns. What is like, what, what a what a sexy knot in his nose that really is. It's raffish. It's it's a good look. You know. But then, yeah, yeah. He turns and he turns into an Australian like a, a bird pelican. of prey. Yeah. <laughs> Turns into a what's that? What's that? One? <laughs> Not a pelican. What's that? What's that? Uh, a, a puffin turns into a puffin. Mm-hmm. A toucan. <clears throat> a puffin. Is that a puffin? I I like the added context it gives Iron Man too when uh, Tony Stark takes the F one car. It's that's a cool. Oh scene. yeah, that's the one thing the dude has the electric whips, right? <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. He seems so sick, and then they barely used him. Yeah. yeah. You know what's a fun little fact about that? Uh oh, here comes Trevor with his hate speech. <laughs> no. What's a fun little fact about it? Watch Iron Man 2, Tony 
Stark rubs shoulders with Elon Musk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The booth, the well, yeah. Tony Stark was based on Elon Musk, apparently, yeah. in, mm. that, in those films. Mm. Mm. That's what, that's usually that's, that's pretty interesting. I do see the parallels of how Robert how Dye, how charismatic how, how Robert Dye, how Robert Downey Jr. is this huge sex appeal that doesn't mm-hmm. sound like a stuttering frog. <laughs> okay, well, you kind of don't need charisma when you can launch rockets to the fucking moon and back. I, I saved a bunch of uh, memes on my phone. Uh, I'm gonna post them to Twitter. Imagine that was him. They're like, okay, so we have to fight Thanos. What, <laughs> like, what's our plan? <laughs> um, well, um, I, well, I, I figure if we um, open a, 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 a portal of, of some sort, and, <laughs> mm. yeah. they're like, thank God we base this off Elon <laughs> Musk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, what's that sound? Oh, that's my girlfriend uh, recording music in the uh, other room. <laughs> Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> that's my girlfriend. That's how she talks. Is that what she sounds like? I don't know. That's why that magic sounds like. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> And that's my bit. <laughs> I don't want to always just say I'm a heavy hitter, but <laughs> I, it was a good bit. I just, like I said, my brain is moving through sludge. Yeah, I was looking for an angle where you like expels the non-based characters from the Avengers. Is what is enough? with you today? That's just who. You're, that's you're who there's he, a lot of hate. That's in who, heart well, today. who he tries to be on Twitter. You're fucking, you know? you come in for my seat today. Yeah. The only way to defeat Thanos is. <laughs> Goes to the moon. And, and cryptocurrencies and stuff. If you want me to pay taxes, I'll sell stock. If you know so. Thanos is kind of a comic. Maybe it would work. Mm. There's your next tune. Mm. Write down. So write yeah, down. Right. God, I don't want to do another. Write down. Superhero thing. Yes, gold <laughs> right in front of you. That's that's right up there with like my least favorite. We'll never watch. Rewatch which, which, uh, what's the, <laughs> the, the fucking uh, Avengers one we did. And then I woke up this morning and... Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys did that one. I remembered we did that fucking Cat Mario thing this time last year, too. I was like, <laughs> I can't believe we fucking made that. Like, that was, what? dude, that was 90% know, was, your idea. Yeah, it was my And you were so hyped for it. Because I didn't want to think anymore. You were in the hunter I was distortion of, field. I was, yeah, I was tired of thinking about it. And it was funny, you know, when, we, when you riffed it initially. But, uh, I forgot even how I riffed it. I probably riffed it pretty funny. You were just, you, we That's were just, the thing that I've discovered with, like... That cartoon we is We don't a great know example. how to execute your riffs. Though, when you riff, it's super funny, but so much of it is also based in like what you're doing with your face and the voice and everything. Mm. And then when we try and translate it to a cartoon, <laughs> we just like lose <laughs> it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like putting your riffs through an autistic filter. It just doesn't I come out properly. I think that it was probably also, we were probably exhausted and we were probably riffing. And yeah, it, it, was, it was in funny. the middle of that fucking ice storm and it was still Literally, me and Lexi. I was probably having a fucking panic attack making yeah. a cartoon of my own. I think we, yeah, it was around Nintendo Direct last year and they just did that. So it was, yeah, like this is probably coming on the end. And we were just like, oh, okay, yeah. well, I guess, because uh, I think we were all fighting for like, what the fuck do we even make? Mm-hmm. You know, will we even survive? And the whole thing too. Yeah, exactly. That's, I was like, okay, so wait, Imagine what? that's so, the cartoon okay, you go down so, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm Mario. You just die. That's the cartoon you die. Oh, you guys got I didn't mean go that. down on like your head. You got huh? to do that cool racist Japanese radio show part. Oh, that was awesome. That was yeah. a really fun bit at the end. Yeah. Should have just been the whole, or throughout the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I think it should have been way louder. Oh, like dude. blaringly loud. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Okay. <laughs> well, that just sounds crazy. <laughs> your Japanese and your Arab impressions are exactly the same. <laughs> I'm not good at uh, accents and stuff. Oh, pish posh, sir. I could do British. Yeah, I know you can. Do something more fun. Hello. Uh, do, do the accent of someone named Sanjay. What would that sound like? Of Sanjay. Yeah. Well, what kind of, what like, kind of name is that? Is, where's where's like that from? A, it's an Indian name. Get it. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, you're setting, you're setting me up. No, Trevor just no. said, "I feel like you don't think that's a real person." Trevor, can you either get a mic or shut the hell up? I feel like if we bought him a mic, we probably could. Is yeah, there, then he he would talk all the time though. Is there even enough channels? We, we need a mic, but only we can turn it on, and you just press a little button. It's like okay. All right, enough. All right, that's enough, Trevor. <laughs> all right, stop. Uh. 
Yeah, that was that was that was really funny. I remember Tom was so pissed that that you that you guys did that tune. Usually mm-hmm. the whole time you're you're pretty like being like, "How's the tune coming?" Oh, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> like, just like totally dead. It was oh, a was lot it, of fucking work. Was too, it not it was, a good cartoon? No. It was oh, that's strange. Cartoon. So it sounds like we I should listen the, to Tom's yeah, intuition. I just remember even like seeing the animatic, and I thought it was pretty. Like the animatic was mm-hmm. really well done, and being like, "Oh, that's funny." I just I, yeah, I just don't know where the missing. Because there was there, I do remember now that like whenever we were thinking about it, it was really funny. Like we were laughing pretty hard about it. Mm-hmm. I just can't remember. I just don't know. Yeah, what the translation era was. I think it was even pretty well in it. Like I like the drawings. I thought it was well, I remember animated. him like even doing the whole cat yeah. thing and like, then like going this, around, the straining, like, great, great the straining drawing. and stuff. But it was just it was a lot of fun. Yeah, his stupid. design was great. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Terrible thumbnail. Piece of too. Shit. And that one was one that had to get made super quick too, and it was all mm-hmm. like one background. You just panned. Please don't tell me we put an ad on the end of that. I don't think so. All right, I might. I might fuck check it all. Can you imagine? We're <laughs> like, all right, there's sure. a cartoon. Now what? Now what's this ad? I won't watch them. I'm, I'm gonna check. I think. The I think we're be able to definitely tell. more critical of like understanding what we can do better. I still, but there's plenty of people who enjoyed that mm. for what it is. Yeah, well, I think you're like stupid. Right, well, I think you're not stupid. I'm <laughs> <laughs> from them, and you want to come over to me? Yeah, feel check, free. check out my second channel, Papa Me. I have a second channel named Papa Me. Uh, Go over there. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, nah, yeah, there was an ad on there. Thank no God. Yep. The shame. Shame. <laughs> I wonder what we did put on the end. Probably subscribe. subscribe to Patreon. <laughs> Come to Patreon. Come pay for more, of more this. like this. Woo. Yeah. Are you looking forward to your little Toy Story cartoon coming out? No. Why not? <laughs> Why? It's going to be good, man. It's yeah, I, think it's, I think it's actually my favorite you've done, probably. What's wrong with it? Right. I throw my hands up in the air, singing a o. I want to say that's not even how it goes. It's not even how it goes. It is how it goes. How's, how's it go? It's, you said I throw my hands up in the air. Yeah, that's what uh, he says. It, what is, how is it? I said throw my hands up in the air sometimes. You missed the. You didn't, you didn't say sometimes. You oh, well, say, give me, cut me a fucking break. It's one word. It goes from being cool to a He's stretch. He's trying to conserve oxygen. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you one thing about Drive to Survive is uh, it really makes you question any other documentary you've ever seen that you don't know anything about. So what was the biggest grievance in um, like changing the story around? Apparently, like, uh, some of the drivers they pit against each other as, like, these big rivals who hate each other are, like, the best of friends. Mm. Stuff like that. But it's... What my, my point was is that, like, something... Before I read about that, I would have had no idea. And I would have just right. assumed that's the truth. But it makes you wonder all the things you don't know anything about that's presented mm. to you. And you just kind of accept. <laughs> and Whoa! You've got no idea, like... Man, we had to watch... In high school, we had to watch all of the... Uh, Oh, what's that fucking guy? Bowling for Columbine. Oh, and, uh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to watch this in fucking high school in the AP English. We watched we watched one of those. And I, and I was bought in 1 million percent on everything. Marilyn Bateson was a fault here. Whoa. Whoa. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure he was. Definitely, like, you weren't at fault for this. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, uh, if a woman asked you to uh, get sucked and fucked behind a Bucky's, would you do it? What would she look like? That's not it. Well, then no, because I don't know what she looks like. You wouldn't take the, the you wouldn't take the gamble. The kind of girl who offers me that, no. Okay. Well, turns out she was very beautiful, so you missed out. Fuck! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Wait, Zendaya beautiful or like actually beautiful? Uh, I, you don't get to find that out. I have a. Uh, I came across an interesting philosophical philosophical question, but not actual philosophy. It's like blowjob philosophy. <clears throat> okay. Is this something we save for <clears throat> Galaxy Brain? No. I mean, maybe. I don't know. You decide. I, I don't know if the people heard what this was. So <clears> Trevor's <throat> thought, thought experiment is uh, if you're getting the best blowjob of your life, but you're blindfolded, and the person doing the blowing could be anyone in the world, mm. male, female, mum, dad, whatever, anyone, would you take off the blindfold to see who it is? So I assume in this scenario... The blowjob is definitely happening. I wake up in the middle of a blowjob <coughs> with a blindfold on. Oh, so you're not, you're, not, you're not choosing to enter the arena. So no, I, you're in the so arena. So I'm not getting sent okay. It's just happening. Well, yes, but you're enjoying it severely. 
Yeah. And this is no matter what. No, no, no. It starts with you, you Are you, agree, you get the blindfold, and then it could be anyone on it. How do they approach me? How do I? How can I consent? Some random Japanese man hands you a card like Squid Games. <laughs> 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 ah! Now who's a sinner? I'm down. I'm down in a. Uh, I'm down in in, in in a subway doing that flip <laughs> card game. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, if you want the best sucking cock of your life, do, do the voice, do the voice. If you want the best sucking no. dick, of- no. <laughs> Which one? The, the Japanese one, because no one knows what Korean accent sounds like. I'm not sure. And the, uh, I don't think I've you want seen- the best uh, sucking the fuck in the world. <laughs> it is the world. I had a nice bit going, <laughs> and, he, and he took it from me. I had, Sorry, I, had, I had a whole bit. Go ahead. It's done. All Whatever. Right, so it, it in, in, this, in this moment of... It was going to be good. In, in, in this moment, you have a pocket knife. <laughs> we see your pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> you take it out. Uh, okay. So in this scenario, what you're saying is that I'm supposed to go to an address. I'm supposed to believe this man that I just lost to a no, game to. No. No, no, he's not. I know that he's not going to suck my dick. I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, wait, wait. So he's you suck my dick? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I'm, I'm saying that he's like, if you want the best, best blowjob of your life, go to this address and, right. and whatever. And then I'm, 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 t- I'm tantalized. Yes. I like blowjobs. Yes. Wait, I go there. It's in, it's in a no name area. Okay. I'm lost almost. Where mm-hmm. am I? Where, Where am I? Yeah. Oh, right here. I go. No, there's no no one out there. Oh, okay. I, I, I look at the address in the card. I see it's on the door. I open the door. There's a man with like a fucking eyes wide shut mask, and he's like, "Put on this." And I'm like, "Are you gonna suck my dick?" He's like, "He's like, no." And he, gui- and he says that, and I put on the blindfold, and he guides me down a hallway. I'm riveted. And, and I get sit and I get sit down in a room, and now and then I sit down. And I'm like, <sighs> but then the door opens. You don't hear the person. So that's what you're saying. I have no idea who it is. I see. That already, you've changed the scenario enough that like it changes the whole thought experiment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like it? yeah. <laughs> like who? Who are they going to have got? Who would have? But I to consented to going in. Yes. I consciously went in. Okay. How about? Okay. How about? Because he said. Well, when you said it, you're like, I wake up and I'm getting my dick. Okay. Sucked. How about this? How about this? So that so that we can maintain the spirit of the question. Okay. You're about to go to bed. You're half asleep. You are approached by a. Pre- a shapeless premonition that puts forward that this is going to happen. You, yeah, an angel. In, in both in scenarios, I'm being raped. No, 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 no. no. You, no you, you, get, you have your consent opportunity here. An angel from God. Pre- well, now you can't say no. It's well, an angel from God. Well, no, no. He's, he 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 says you're allowed to say no, and God won't hate you. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> you're allowed to say no. God, God will not, will hate, not you. hate you. God will not hate you. I swear. He won't even be mad. <laughs> he won't, yeah. He'll only be a little upset. <laughs> a little disappointed. Very <laughs> neutral on the matter, really. <laughs> anyway. He's a pretty reasonable dude. <laughs> Tomorrow when you wake up, you're going to have the most intense blowjob of your life if you accept and consent Hunter Hancock. Do mm. you accept and consent Hunter Hancock? <sighs> who's, who's giving it to me? Well, that is a part of that, the thought that experiment. That is the part God of is the running thoughts. on you, Hunter Hancock. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> What do you choose? That's a part of the social experiment that God is running on you for his YouTube channel. Um, sure, for the for the sake of being, I'll say yes. Excellent. God was going to be furious if you declined. See, so why? it's good. I mean, like, never mind. Yes. I don't want it. No, I retract. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're so we're in here. Okay. Yep. Men in black. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you go to sleep and you have a cool dream. Which, about okay. Oh! About tra- <laughs> about Transformers. And, the- <laughs> <laughs> and then you wake up and you're like. <laughs> but it's incredible. It feels and you, the and best you thing have, you've ever And you have a, a blindfold from God on. You're just like, oh, I can't get it off! <laughs> Oh my God. No. That is because first you must just decide. enjoy the sucking, <laughs> my friend. Okay. Enjoy the sucking. Now that you've experienced enjoy the sucking, enjoy it for thirty seconds. Then do you take, do the, you blindfold take the blindfold off, off to off. see who it is? <laughs> Hunter Hancock. <laughs> I, I I I would feel like I'd be <laughs> delirious. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hunter Hancock. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, uh, no. Bleep, bleep I, no, the address. No, no, I wouldn't. 
Um, just keep it. Just keep it. Um, you wouldn't. You'd keep it on. Going. Okay. Why? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> I feel like in that moment of clarity, mm. post uh, post nut clarity. Yeah. I feel like I'd be like, okay. Last night, mid sleep, I thought that an angel came to me. Yeah, we did kind of change it because now there's this whole like moral. Well, like, he will not hey, accept. God, this is all Hunter. The that's, crea- that's all consent. You're right. The, the, cre- the, the creator of the universe says this is okay. So then you're like, well, you know, thanks. versus. Versus God's my God's scenario, God's whenever it's this room, this deal, my. it's eyes wide shut type mm. thing. Well, the thing is that you go in, you're like, oh, maybe I love this person. I'm you in reality. You are hereby banned from the thought experiment <laughs> for not engaging with it in an <laughs> honest manner. You get neither. Maybe what, next what, time, what play what along. Wrong? You guys are so hesitant against mine. What's wrong with mine? My, my, the scenario is <laughs> condensed to let's pretend you've already accepted. And you're like, however the scenario, let's pretend you already accepted. Then at, it starts from this point. You're sitting in a chair. You're blindfolded. A door opens. You can't hear who it is. They come in. Greatest blowjob ever. The question mm. is, would you choose to take the blindfold off to see who it was? Or would you be happy knowing not knowing who it is, just on the off chance. That it's I would still character. say, I, I would still say, uh, you would know it's a cat stung. Maybe not. You, you would know it's a what? What well, cat? Let's stung. can we get animals out cat of this stung. because okay. it's, it's too obvious. Mm. So anyways, mm. no. I I no. would, I would already know if it was a man or a woman, because there's no way my massive dick would fit in any earthly woman's mouth. That's too bad, buddy. Yeah. Never so I, I, if I'm getting sucked, it's a dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. And at which point I know it's a dude, so I probably mm. would take the blindfold off. Because I'm like, what does this dude look like? It's Idris Elba. It's Idris Elba. I'm like, this absolves me of all my sins. <laughs> God. God? Did you see that? I didn't know. <laughs> and then I busted. But I busted anyway. I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what I did know. I don't think there's any scenario so races, see? where you would to go want to, to take the blindfold off. I don't know. Why would you? Well, because if you like break it down statistically, right, you got to think mm-hmm. what's the number of uh, nubile young women on Earth compared to everyone else. If you're sitting there though, because your dick is not that big, and it's, you're, it's and, pretty and, fucking big. It's v- pretty small. It's pretty ginormously it's, it's pretty huge. And what I was gonna say though is, if in a situation where it's an eyes wide shut, crazy kind of sex party, and a person comes in and you're getting a fucking awesome blowjob, knowing myself, I'm a bit of a romantic. I would be. I'd say it may, I think I might love this woman. I think that this is. I want, I want these blood. I want these blood. <clears throat> I don't know, but I'm saying that I might. I, in, my, in my mind, I'm probably like, oh my god, I think I love this person. <laughs> and then you take. Hoping that. And then you take. And then it's a dude, it. and you're now trapped. We, in don't, we, we will yeah, never then, know then that. You, that's so a dual, no, 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 no. Question. No, no, no. Do you take your? So where do you get it? No, I, but I would say no. Regardless. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is that at least my version, there's more of the tantalizing thing of being like, you don't. I mean, the possibility is there of being like, oh. This could be a really super sexy chick in a super hot scantilous dress, but it wearing a fucking like a weird be. mask or some shit, like mm-hmm. like, like a fucking Spartacus, like an eye, yeah, yeah, Spartacus or whatever, yeah. And that chick was super sexy. I know, dude. Tell me about it. That guy's <laughs> dead to cancer though. Worth it. Yeah, and he has. I a, don't know if the two incidents they, are related. They had, but they had, they had, they that, guy, that guy had a huge dick too. Yeah. Well, you know. Hmm. Don. Does it, does it change? Okay, Don. I'm thinking about it. I'm just saying that. Ch- thinking, does it change if if you choose to leave the blindfold on and not know, you can never have that little job again. But if you take it off, no matter who it is, you can always. Do it. Okay, so just, <laughs> I can. I wait, can, I can uh, people need to be able to hear. So Trevor's new thought experiment on top of this one is. You can never get the blowjob again if you keep the mask on, but if you take it off, the possibility of that blowjob is now open to you forever. Right. But again, no, because chances of it being like a hot young woman is low, statistically. I could probably live without blowjobs, too, if I'm being honest. Yeah, but if you took the blindfold off and you see it's a guy and you're like, ugh, gross, then kick him away. Then, then, but if it's a girl, I, I like this scenario. You but, try and kick him away, he just fucking <laughs> clamps your legs down. Yeah, he's, no, so, like, okay. he's so much stronger than okay. you. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, Get off! and he just now, fucking decks you in the face. You're like, oh, I'm sucking your dick. I have a contract with God. And now, knock, 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 knock. Just, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And now I'm just being raped, so it's not gay. No, that wasn't rape. That was that was ecstasy. You, <laughs> you saying that if you find that you had the best 
the hardest you've ever your balls have ever squeezed and produced the most cum in your life, mm-hmm. and it was a man, you would you'd still be like, oh yuck, yucky, yes, gross, right. yeah. obviously. Yeah, he's still. Why like, would it, why wouldn't you be? He's still he's still picking his teeth, you know. If it was the best, I, I'd be like, damn. I'm like, what's your hey? What's your name? <laughs> what's your cash? Shake app? his hand and shit. He's like Steven. I'm like, damn, dude, you suck. <laughs> he's like, anyway, so how can I get you in this time warranty? Oh no! <laughs> oh gee. Wouldn't that be crazy though? If time warranty, you get your dick sucked by like some time warranty dudes, and that's that's how they got you to stay. <laughs> All right, let me suck your dick real quick. How we talk about that? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know if I need that right now. It's complimentary. It's totally, it's totally free. I'm telling you right now, you haven't had your dick sucked by anyone else like me. It's going to be a great deal. <laughs> Afterwards, we'll have some dinner. Talk about the time warranty. We'll figure it out. All right. <laughs> just every car dealership you walk into is just only like three quarters of the seats. A fucking... <laughs> There's not a person in them. Why are all the driver's seats all the way? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna have a great time this weekend. It's gonna be a good time. Can you pull around the bend over there? Pull, 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 pull over there. It's just, just, just a bit probably hidden away. Back around that. Nice shade. You hot? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm hot. Yeah, pull over there in the shade. <laughs> <laughs>